Hello and welcome. I'm Peter Norby, but I go by Baker PD, and welcome to the Great Open Road Bakery. So today we're going to do something very, very simple. We're going to make a very basic bread. I love to make bread, but we're going to do it in a microwave convection oven, and we're going to do it in a regular oven. So we're baking in a third Tiffin 34 PA, and I know all motor coaches aren't the same. Some are Class B, Class C. It may be smaller or bigger, but here's what we're doing here. Now, the way I have my kitchen set up, my bakery set up, is I have a prep table here. I'm just gonna go over some of the equipment that we use, some baking pans, depending upon the size of your convection oven and your oven, a mixing bowl. Now, um, I was a master Danish baker for a long time with massive ovens and big mixers and all kinds of really fun equipment, but we're gonna keep this super simple today. And the bread's gonna be amazing. We have four ingredients. This is flour from Costco. I love making bread with Caputo Blue Italian flour. I can't wait to get out on the road and try freshly grained, or freshly milled grains from across this country. But for today, it's Costco. Uh, I highly recommend this, and this is just um, a one kilo package of Red Star yeast. You can get this at Smart and Final. You can get it at Amazon. It lasts for the year, so you just buy one package, seven to ten dollars. Um, keep it in a Ziploc bag and keep it in your refrigerator. Salt and just a drizzle of honey. So those are the four ingredients to make the bread. So if you're ready to go, I think I'm ready to go. All right, let's get started. It's a simple, simple recipe. So we'll start with two cups of flour. Turn it this way. There's one cup. And there's two cups of flour. We're gonna do all our dry ingredients first. Next is about a half a tablespoon of salt. And so I'll just pour this on here. Um, if you like your bread a little saltier, you can go a little more. A little less salt, you can go a little less, but about a half a tablespoon of salt. We're gonna use about a half a tablespoon of yeast. And then we're gonna put just a drizzle of honey in here. Now, if you don't have honey, just regular table sugar is fine, and you would just a couple of pinches of table sugar. So this one's almost out, it's gonna take a bit of time. That's it, very, very little. Now, you, you can also not use sugar or honey, but it helps activate the yeast, so I like to use it. Okay. This bread is gonna be a 75% hydration bread. And what I mean by that is it's two cups of flour. It'll be one and a half cups of water. So that's the 75% hydration. Now I pre-warmed my water. You want to use warm water because that also will help starting the bread to proof. So we're ready to go. That's one cup. You can use the half cup measurement, but I'll just eyeball this. And that's the other half a cup. Now this is the fun part. Many of you are thinking this is gonna take a lot of muscles, but it really doesn't. And so we're just gonna mix this up. It'll only take a couple of minutes to do. Also, I think you might be thinking of traditional bread um, where you would wanna knead it a lot and turn it into a ball. This is kind of like if you could hit a mixture of maybe between pancake batter and a typical loaf of bread, you're gonna be just about perfect. And this is just about perfect. Now, if it was too wet, I would add a little flour. If it's too dry, I would add a little, uh, a little uh, water. But actually, this is perfect. So believe it or not, the first step is done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this for 30 minutes and we're gonna let it rise. Now there's gonna be three different times where this is gonna rise for 30 minutes. 
but you don't have to stand here and look at it for 30 minutes. So this only takes a minute or two to do. Uh, I think it's time for me to have a mimosa, so I'll be right back. So cheers to you, and we'll see you in 30 minutes. Two. Okay, this bread has been resting for 30 minutes. It's time for our second phase. Now, if you like what we're doing here, we'll be making a, a, new, a new recipe every two weeks or so while we're on the road here this next year. We'll span from bread to pastries to cookies to just about everything, and we'll be putting it out every two weeks. So make sure and subscribe to this channel and press the like button. This is looking great. So the next step on this is that we're gonna fold this in four. By the way, I should say we're making a baguette uh, there'll be two baguettes, and then we're also going to be making uh, a ciabatta bread as well. So I've got a separate pan set for the ciabatta bread, but it's the exact same recipe. Well, all I can tell you is it's very sticky um, and embrace the stick. So the best way to deal with that is just to wet your hands. We're going to pull it over four times. That's one. That's two. Turning the bowl a quarter turn each time. That's three. And that's four. So I'm going to recover this, let it sit for another 30 minutes. It's time for my second mimosa. The second 30 minutes is over and we're ready for our second fold down. You can see how beautiful this dough is proofing here. Again, we want to embrace the stick. Uh, so we'll just wet our hands. And when we're folding over here, we're really not like smashing that, right? We're just kind of folding over. We want to keep the air in the dough as much as possible. Okay, that's the second fold over. We're going to cover this for the 30 minutes, and then when we come back to this, we're ready to make the bread. But um, what we'll, what we'll do before we make the bread is I'll take you into the microwave convection oven in the oven as far as settings. But we'll want to preheat the oven about 10 minutes before the bread is ready to go. So about 20 minutes from now, we'll be preheating those ovens, and I'll, I'll take you over that as well. And you know, I think I'm good with two mimosas, so I think I'm going to stop right there. Okay, we're about 10 minutes away from putting these in the oven, immediately following the third fold down. So it's time to preheat the oven. So in the convection oven, the first thing that we do is we turn the turntable off. It now says turntable off. And then we're going to preheat the oven. We press the preheat button. It says select the temperature. And number nine is 425 degrees. We're going to press start. And now it's preheating. Let me just show you how I have the convection oven set up. I've turned the turntable over and I have a little rack here to get some air under the bread. And I love these baguette pans because they fit right in. So you could bake four baguettes at a time if you want. But remember, this is a two cup recipe, so this will be two baguettes. Okay, let's preheat this up. We'll simply start that again. And it's preheating to 425. Now we'll go to the other oven, which is just a propane gas oven. I'm going to light this pilot light, and I'll turn that to pilot. That should be long enough. Now I'm going to turn it to 425. I can see the flame is on. So this is ready to go. I'll be using a regular baking pan right here. Okay. We've got about 10 minutes before the bread is ready to go in the oven. Now, as I mentioned before, I've actually made two batches of bread today. The reason I've done it is because I want to demonstrate the top oven as well as the bottom oven. They're exactly the same. They're the two cup recipe. So remember, two cups will make two baguettes or it'll make one loaf of ciabatta bread. So we're ready to go. Third fold down, wet your hands. Try and keep as much air in here as possible. Okay, turn the bowl four times and press down. Now 
to make the baguettes, I'm gonna actually form the baguettes. So the bread I just kind of dumped on a pan, but the baguettes I'm gonna form. A good amount of flour down here, but don't put it all over the floor or the kitchen countertop, that's not necessary. We're gonna dump this out. We're gonna put some flour on top. Too much. We got our baguettes in here. Now I'm just going to cut this. I can see it's a little oblong, so I'm just going to cut it along the length. I'm going to grab one of them here. Not a lot of forming. Just take it, put it right over on the baguette pan. Not a lot of forming, right over on the baguette pan. Okay, I'm gonna just wash my hands here real quick. This is ready to go into the convection oven, which is the top oven. <laughs> now when you use this as a microwave, you know you're not supposed to put any metal in here or tin foil in here. But when you use it on convection, tin foil, metal, everything works. The oven is telling me it's preheated. So I'm going to insert this. It's asking me to press, uh, press convection. I'm going to press convection. It's going to ask me to select my temp. I'm going to select 9, which is 425, and then enter. Oh, I'm sorry, it says enter time. So I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. And now I'll press start. Okay, they're both in the oven. We're gonna do 10 minutes on one side, 10 minutes on the other side, and we'll have fresh bread really soon. Okay, we're ready for the final fold down and to put the bread in the oven. Bread looks great. Now, when we do our final fold down, it's gonna be the same way. We're gonna fold it four times, but we're gonna try and be as just as gentle as possible, right? We're not smashing it down. That's two, that's three, that's four. Now, you're gonna love this next part. We're ready to make a loaf of bread out of this. going to slightly shape it a bit. You're done. That is your loaf of bread. I'm going to put a little flour on top and then we're going to transfer this into the oven. If you wanted to, you could put some flour here and make it more of a loaf. But the whole idea here is to touch it as little as possible because see these beautiful air bubbles? That's what we want. So just a little flour on top. I'm ready to put this into the oven. So this oven has been preheated to 425 degrees. It's going to be in here for 10 minutes. We're going to rotate it for additional 10 minutes. It'll bake between 20 and 25 minutes. And now for a pro tip, anytime you cook, especially bread, you want to wash these off right away because they'll get sticky and real hard to, to do. So my favorite little trick is just a little plastic scraper, scrape off the flour and wash the bowl. So clean up as you go. We'll see you when the loaf of bread comes out of the oven. Well, the coach smells amazing. You know, one of the best things about baking at home is it just puts this wonderful aroma all over your home, but we are home. We're home here in our tip from 34. It's just that our home travels all around the country. It's been in the oven for 10 minutes. We're ready to give it a churn and you get to see what it looks like when it's halfway done. Some brown appearing, which is really good. Put that back in. We're good. All right, we're back in. We're going to press convection. We're going to press 425. 
going to enter 10 minutes. Oops. That's 16, but we'll take it out after 10. We're ready to go. Now, we're going to go down to the bottom oven here. We're also going to turn this loaf of bread that's been in for 10 minutes. Beautiful loaf of bread, also getting a little brown. And we'll bake that for another 10 minutes as well. Okay, we're ready to take the bread out of the oven and it looks absolutely wonderful. Now we originally set the timers for 10 minutes and rotated them another 10 minutes for a total bake time of 20 minutes. When I looked at the bread, I wanted a little bit more color, so I set an additional timer of five minutes on there. The first loaf to come out is the big round one from the propane gas oven. That simply looks stunning. The air pockets are great. I can't wait to cut this open in about three or four minutes. We'll be doing an Italian dinner tonight, pasta. We'll have a couple over in the coach and we'll be using this with our pasta. We'll be using the baguettes to do a charcuterie board beforehand. So let me just transfer this. You can see, I don't know if you can see the bottom is nicely evenly cooked as well. So the tip of the oven did, did just great. We're ready to take the baguettes out of the convection oven. Again, we started it on level nine, 425. For the last five minutes, I kicked it up to 450 degrees because I wanted a little color, a little more color on the baguettes as well. And I think when you're baking, that's what you're doing. You're looking for an adjustment. If it's getting too dark, you turn the temperature down a little bit, not dark enough, you turn the temperature up. So let's take these out. These are our baguettes, and you can see they release beautifully from the pan. They're a nice color underneath. I didn't quite cut the dough exactly in half, but it doesn't matter. We'll be slicing this very thin for our charcuterie board. Also, very, very wonderful color. A little dark over here, which is great. This will serve us well for the next three or four days. This is the best part. So this bread has been resting four or five minutes out of the oven, still nice and warm. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna show you the wonderful air pockets that are in this bread. Now, ciabatta is also called slipper bread in Italian. The reason why is the bread is a lower profile bread instead of a very tall bread. This is perfect. And you know, Julie and I have traveled all over the world, Italy, uh, France, Denmark, all the great baking countries. You won't find a better loaf of bread. When you make this in your motorhome and you cut it and you serve it to the guests, they're gonna be really impressed. First, it's my turn. This is, the crust is great as you cut through it. And let me just demonstrate this open cell. You can see all these beautiful air pockets, even more so the bread is still steaming when it's done. It's time for me to try a piece. Oops, I knocked my baguettes off. I can't wait. Mm. Oops. Holy crap, that is so, so good. Well, that's it. Thank you for um, being in my bakery and thank you for coming along for the ride in the tip and 34 PA. We'll have another episode in two weeks and we'll, we'll make something equally as fantastic. This is amazing.